This is just a quick video to document the problems with the BJ318 radio. Um, so here we have two BJ318 radios and for comparison we have an Anytone radio there. So the problem that we noticed with this, well first I was getting terrible signal reports into repeaters. I was getting better signal reports on handheld radios. So actually I hooked this up to this power meter and we can see here we're set to uh, we're set to high power. We have the VHF calling frequency and the UHF calling frequency ready there. So first we'll transmit on VHF. Okay, transmitting into our power meter and dummy load so we see it's only actually putting out about 1.5 watts there all right now if we switch over to UHF and we transmit well we see it's putting out about 15 which that's perfectly reasonable I have no problem with that it does advertise as a 20 watt radio but these things can vary from frequency to frequency and you know 25 watts would be best case so yeah there we go so thought okay well maybe we just had a bad radio well we took another one brand new out of the box and we noticed it has the same problem so I'm just going to switch over our dummy load and meter over to this radio and connect that one to our power supply and I'll be right back alright so yeah after I noticed the problem with the first one I took this one brand new out of the box and tried it as well so here we go Let's see if it has the same problem on VHF spoiler alert it does okay transmitting and we're at 1.53 watts so yeah pretty pretty similar okay so we can try other power levels let's see if uh, maybe <laughs> mediums better than high There we go, power, and select medium. Okay, so now we have the power set to medium. Transmitting. No, it's about the same. And we'll uh, we'll try low just uh, just to see. Okay, there we go. You can see we're on low power. Transmitting and one point one six, one point one seven. All right. So now we'll move on to this Anytone radio just to show that this uh, power meter and uh, dummy load is doing what it should do. So I will go ahead and hook up the, uh, the dummy load and the power to this one. And I should mention that you know, we've, we've tried these radios on different power supplies and you know in the vehicle and the house and it's, uh, it's definitely not an issue with the power supply. So here we go, going to hook up the Anytone. Okay, now we have our power meter and our dummy load connected to the Anytone radio. We have the Anytone radio set to the calling frequencies, uh, VHF14652 and UHF446. So let's, uh, we'll start with the VHF. Transmitting. And we see 
20.3 watts. So there we go. Uh, this radio advertises as a 20 watt radio. At least that's what I see in most of the ads. So yeah, working great. And we'll try UHF on that as well. Let's flip over to UHF calling frequency and transmitting. And we get 18.45 watts. So there is obviously something wrong with these BJ318 radios and it seems not to be isolated to just one unit it's multiple units and and this is you know this this one i, I used for a little while uh before you know i was just getting terrible signal reports and thought i'd power test it and uh you know when we did and it uh, turned out there was a definitely a problem with that one tried the same on this one and this has the same problem so two different radios uh, i've ordered I ordered them, uh, I think maybe a month or two apart, I, I don't remember, but, so I don't know if it's a bad batch, I, I've heard of people having similar problems with the BJ218s as well, so yeah, maybe, maybe it just seems to be hit and miss with these radios, uh, yeah, until, until that problem is addressed, um, I, I just can't recommend these radios, but, uh, but th this Anytone radio is, is great, I, I wish, uh, I wish there were more uh, sources available to buy those ones. It's uh, such a great little radio. Anyway, um, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.